going to click here and uh, I'm going to put a 3D scene. Okay, so click on 3D scene here. We start with this special node. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to 3D here so you see this. So to start, I'm gonna right click and go for add a child node. So I'm gonna go for kinematic body 3D. So special 3D. This for 3D. This one is for 3D. The one we used before. So we'll have a kinematic body here. So and for you to make it work um, to be visible, if it was in 2D, we use sprite. But here we're going to use um, mesh instance. So you have the mesh instance here under special. So under the mesh instance, we're going to create a mesh. So if you click on this when you select it. You click on the mesh. You can click and create a cube mesh. So if you look at that, there is actually a cube mesh down there. Okay, so we have this. And uh, I will click here and right click. Now this, it doesn't have a collider, a collision object. I'm going to click on that and go for collision. So I'm going to go for the collision shape. That's collision shape 3D under special. Click on that and... Uh, I'll click here and create a, a cube. There's a cube box shape. Yeah, so that's the this will enable it to collide with objects. Okay, so we'll have this here. So I can be able to have um, also my camera. I would like to have a camera here. I will follow my character, so I'm going to go for add and go for a camera. So that's my camera here. Create that and bring it up to somewhere here. I'm going to save this. Call this my 3D. Scene. So my 3D scene, if I select this camera and go for this, I will be able to see nothing. So I have my camera now. Here is actually that. So what I will do is I'm going to create a floor by duplicating this. I'll press Ctrl D on this. Okay. Uh, I'll delete that camera. Just selecting it and pressing delete. So I'll call this my floor. So I'm going to get the floor and shape it this way. So let me this here. All right. So the next thing I'm going to put, I'm going to right click on special here and add a light. I'm going to add a um, directional light. And uh, let me see if that will light up our scene. I can't, it's not lighting up the scene the way I want it. Let me use my rotation and click on that. Alright, so this is good. So I'm going to push this up a little bit here. Uh, let's repeat a bit uh, something like this. So once, whenever we go for this, uh, we want to this tire uh, for moving okay, in 3D. And then this for expanding, okay. So, uh, right now, if you actually move this thing, you might not appreciate it, but let's put a texture to it. So, what a texture you have to add um, a mesh, okay. If you come over here, you can, but I'm going to use this cut to texture it. I'm going to material, so I'm selecting the floor, click on this, and click on new special material. Double click on this and when I double click, uh, let me do that again in case you don't understand. New special material, double click on this, go to your albedo. Now go and drag that car texture into this place here. So you see uh, the car will just be what I have on the background there. So it's important, uh, operating thing is important. So if you actually come up here, you see uh, how my car is now on the floor. Alright, so um, I just want it to be easy for you to spot out what I'm doing when I start working. 
moving around so i'm just going to select my character pull it up a little bit and then you'll be here so now i want to make it code it so that it responds to my keyboard so i right click go for my scripts and say kinematic body move it create that okay so i'll tell it now uh, remember you click here and go for process so when it starts i'll drag this out condition okay and tell it for action then you should have an action action so i'm right clicking or you just go and click on add so you go for action so the action i want is when i press up click up arrow key you should move forward so i will come over here because i'm doing this on the kinematic body if I do my move and collide, you see, it give me vector 3. If it was in 2D, it would give me vector 2. So 3 means uh, X, Y, and Z are this. I'm going to open this and I will drag this into this place. So um, now let's test the one it is. So I think uh, let's go for 5 here. And I'm going to right click and play this scene. And let's go up and see what will happen. So it's going left. That's uh, that means the our scene. This is okay. Sorry, look at it there. We have the x axis, the x axis. That's this place. So we want to be going forward like this. That's the z axis. So we have to do negative z to move forward like this. We want it to be this where our camera is. So here will become our front. So negative, negative because this is positive x z, negative z positive y negative y to go down then this way is positive x the negative x so i want it to go this way so i'm going to use uh, negative z so i'm going to go to my script and i'll select here zero and go for minus five negative z to make it move that way i'm just going to select that And when I move, I think it's a little bit quite very fast. So I'm going to then change it to about 1 minus 1. I think it's going forward right now. If you want it to go back, I can just go get another action. and click from here to get another condition connect this to here and then have a uh, uh, move again and collide and connect this to this and here this time around is going to be one because i want to move it backwards You can go forward and sorry i didn't put my the button here so the button here should be ui down so that's the down arrow the down arrow key so i'm going to right click play this scene up back up back up back up back so this is how you can able to create um, um a movement within the 3D thing. So this is the visual script that does that for you. Okay. So uh, I want to just add one more thing here. So um, I want to add a change scene. So I want to be able to when I click a button, it should change the 3D scene. Okay. So I'm just gonna right click here. Let me go to my 2D. Right click, go for add mode. I'm gonna go for a button. So this time around the button, I'm going to call this. Uh, 3D change. So I'm going to call this uh, 3D scene. So this is like a button that I will use to launch the 3D scene. Okay. 
So I have this here. So it's looking nice and clean here. So um, I'll just come in and uh, I'm just going to directly put this on that. Okay. And I don't need a signal here, so I'm going to right click. And go for playing the signal is when you want to make like a body move. Okay, and you need when something is pressed, that's where you put the signal. But when you want to press a button and it does something, you just right click on it and attach the screw directly to it. So I call it 3D change. So inside here, I'm going to say uh, click here to get a function pressed. When it is pressed, we want to change the scene. So I'm going to say scene 3. So click down here, just go down. So scene 3. So I'm going to drag this out and say change scene. So which scene do we want? So currently we have our uh, the thing does the scene. So I'm going to select this. So whenever it's pressed, it should do something. So and once whenever this is pressed, it should change to another scene here. So to get that scene inside here, I'm going to do right click or click on add and go for resource sorry resource part okay the resource part tells us uh, where you can find the scene that you want to change to so if i click that i can click here and i will look for my 3d uh, scene we're going to look at that 3d scene over there okay so if i click on that open that will become the scene that you're going to be changing to so i can just connect it to this all right so I'll save and I will play my first game. When I play my first game, I can be able to use this. I can go forward, backwards, okay? And I can come and move also with this, okay? And I have also so click on this and it changes to my 3D scene. I can move forward and backwards. So that is how I can be able to create a 3D or a 2D game within a Godot engine. So if there's any other question, you can relate the questions to me directly.